I can't tell if you are a good writer or just me. Able to spew out invective like a Jackson Pollock or so many wadded up spitballs stuck to the classroom ceiling. It's like that person whose stories rely on the tragedy of a situation, the suicide of an ex-spouse, the weak, sucking dick, the smell of her cunt on his face, all tragic, but it's not, you know, the mark of a great writer to point out the truly sad and pronounce sad. Nor is it moving to hear the rant stuffed in your pocket, waiting for the right moment to use that dirty handkerchief of warmed over spittle. Target unknown. I have a bile. I've got a vial of bile. Yellow and green in its little plastic container. I can pull it out whenever I want to, just like you. But it doesn't make me a prophet to point to him who done me wrong and say, I've been hurt. It hurts. And I hurt. I know how to decline that verb. To hurt, to pain, to cuss, to weep, to gnash, to keen, to moan, to cut, to wither. It marks me human, not profound. If I were good, if I were better than that, I could look at the limp of a small dog or the hunched back of a mangy cat and let them speak to me of the divine as if the firmament of stars reflected in abandoned eyes were everything that ever need be said a loss. Here, take my crumpled up tissue of snivel and drip. I do not want it. I've been done wrong, but I would rather have the stars in the sky sing to me. And why not? I am at least as good as a mangy cat slouching behind the bushes, having figured out no one is going to let him in for the night. It is cold, and there is only a pile of rustling mouse gray leaves to make a nest with. Now, if you can tell me more about that, and make me hear it, and make me cry, then you'd be a good writer. Hey.